Let's transition and let's go to Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love. Wasn't so brotherly for the Dallas Cowboys. NFC East battle in Philly. The Philadelphia Eagles beat the Dallas Cowboys 28 to 23 for the Cowboys. Dak Prescott, he went 29 to 44. He threw for 374 passing yards, three touchdowns. CeeDee Lamb had a great performance. 11 receptions, 191 receiving yards for the Eagles. Jalen Hurts went 17 of 23. He threw for 207 passing yards, two touchdowns. Here's Dak Prescott after the loss. Sucks. We're going to take it. Uh, we're going to move forward and, and uh, use use. Use the fight, use a lot of the, the success. A lot, a lot of good things came out of this game despite the loss. You, you want to come into this game, everybody in the locker room believed, uh, and, and we still do, don't get me wrong. We're getting better. I, I can promise you that, and we're going to continue to get better. Um, there's, there's not, yeah, we're, we're getting better, and we're, we're okay. We're damn sure okay. That was Dak Prescott. After the Cowboys' 28-23 to loss to the Philadelphia Eagles Sunday afternoon in Philly. So, as I watched this game between the Eagles and the Cowboys is, after the game, I thought to myself, no matter how great Dak Prescott plays, or no matter how great the Cowboys defense plays when they play against the Philadelphia Eagles they cannot beat the Philadelphia Eagles the Philadelphia Eagles have the Dallas Cowboys number and I'm watching the game on Sunday and I'm thinking to myself and I look at the statistics as well look at the statistics the, the Cowboys they had more total yards than the Eagles the Cowboys had more passing yards than the Eagles, and time of possession was close. Eagles had the ball 30 minutes. Cowboys had the ball for 29 minutes. And I was thinking to myself, though, when I look at the two teams play against each other, they both have great rosters. They both have great rosters. I know y'all caught that jump I just had when I dropped my phone. I was hoping my glass ain't break here on my table at the house. But the Cowboys and the Eagles both – have great rosters. Cowboys offensively, you got Dak Prescott, who's a good quarterback. I don't think Dak Prescott is great, but he's good, and I thought he played well in this game Sunday. Dak Prescott, three touchdowns, zero interceptions. His passer rating was 115. That's the highest in any career loss in his career. 374 passing yards, averaging 8.5 per pass attempt. And he completed 66% of his passes. Dak Prescott had a great performance in this matchup against the Eagles. But offensively, the Cowboys have Dak Prescott. They have CeeDee Lamb as well. And in this game, they had a great performance from their tight end in Jake Ferguson. Jake Ferguson had seven receptions, 91 receiving yards. So the Cowboys have weapons offensively. CeeDee Lamb, Jake Ferguson. At some point, you hope Michael Gallup or Brandon Cooks can start to produce. And at running back, you got Tony Pollard. And you got an offensive head coach in Mike McCarthy. And defensively, we know that defensively the Cowboys have dudes. They got Micah Parsons. They got Demarcus Lawrence. They got Van Der Esch when he plays. Trayvon Diggs when he's healthy, when he's in the lineup. And you still got Stephon Gilmore as well. So they have the personnel to match up with the Philadelphia Eagles. Well, they had the personnel. I, I don't look at the Eagles as being significantly more talented than the Cowboys. I think they're on the same level from a personnel standpoint. Obviously, the Eagles, offensively, you got Jalen Hurts. Okay, in your backfield, you got DeAndre Swift. At receiver, you got a nice dynamic duo with, and, with A.J. Brown, with Devontae Smith as well. And they got Dallas Goddard, when he's healthy, at tight end. And I like Nick Sirianni as their head coach. And defensively, we know how good the Philadelphia Eagles defense is. Up front, you got Brandon Graham. You got 
Fletcher Cox, Josh Sweat as well. And you got Zach Cunningham in their secondary. Their secondary isn't great, but you still got big play Darius Slay and Kevin Bayard. So from a personnel standpoint, the Cowboys and Eagles are equivalent. But the difference is situational and how the Cowboys perform when the big moments in football games arrive. It happened again in this game. The Cowboys got in the red zone because at, on the last possession for the Cowboys, the Eagles, they, to me, were coming apart. Guys were getting injured, and they, 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 they were coming off the field. They were dehydrated, and <laughs> like the Eagles were, were struggling to get to the finish line. And I'm thinking, once the Cowboys crossed midfield, I'm thinking, man, the Cowboys might win this game. They might win this game. And they get to the red zone. And these are the Cowboys' final five plays. Penalty. Sack. Incompletion. Penalty. Throwing short of the goal line. And it made me think, damn. Damn. Because as great as the Cowboys have played today, they still came up short when it mattered the most. And even though the Eagles, they were, they were struggling to get to the finish line and they had guys who were injured on that last possession defensively, the Eagles made the necessary plays that needed to be made to win the football game. And that was the biggest difference in the game. That was the biggest difference in the game. And even though Dak Prescott has more experience than Jalen Hurts, I feel like in big moments, Jalen Hurts is more calm than Dak Prescott is. And even as with the head coaches, Mike McCarthy, he's been coaching in the NFL for 17 years. Nick Sirianni, this is only his second year. But for whatever reason, in big pivotal moments in football games, I trust Nick Sirianni more than Mike McCarthy. It seems as if Nick Sirianni, he, it seems as if he has his football team more calm, and they're ready for those big moments in games. No, the Eagles don't necessarily blow out teams, but the Eagles can win in multiple, multiple different ways. They can win ugly. They can, they can win, win playing average. They can win playing good, and they can win playing great as well. They don't always win pretty. They don't always win pretty, but that's how you become a great football team in a true Super Bowl contender. And that's the biggest difference in the Cowboys and the Eagles. No, the Eagles don't have significant more talent than the Cowboys have. Personnel-wise, they're equivalent. But it's those key moments in games. In games. I thought the Cowboys were going to pull this off. And in typical, typical Cowboy fashion, last final plays of the game, penalty, sack, incompletion, penalty, throwing the ball short of the goal line, which made no sense to me either. Why are you throwing the ball short of the goal line? You know, you have to get into the end zone. The best possible scenario is throwing the ball in the end zone. Maybe you get a penalty and you have to play an untimed down. Why would you throw the ball short of the goal line? That made no sense to me. No sense. And so, like I said, I just think the Eagles, they, they, they have the Cowboys number. They have the Cowboys number. Like, unlike the Bengals and Bills, because I think the Bengals are more talented than the Bills are. I don't think the Eagles are more talented than the Eagles are. I mean, I don't think the Eagles are more talented than the Cowboys are. I just think they know how to perform in those big, pivotal moments, and that's been the biggest difference in their matchups recently. It really, really has. And, uh, again, I just don't think the Cowboys are going to be able to compete in the NFC East. I think they'll make the playoffs, but – when they go up against these teams like the Eagles and like the 49ers, they'll lose in the playoffs. They'll lose. I also, one thing I want to ask Mike McCarthy is Dak Prescott threw the ball 44 times, and they ran the ball 12 times with Tony Pollard. Remember in the offseason when they fired Kellen Moore? And the reason why they fired Kellen Moore was Mike McCarthy said he wanted to run the football more. But you only gave Tony Pollard the football 12 times. So I don't sometimes I have questions about Mike McCarthy and what he's doing. 
you had Dak Prescott throw the ball 44 times. Now, I know the Cowboys did fall behind in this game. They were down 11 at one point in this game. They were down 28 to 17. But you still got to stay committed to running the football. You still got to stay committed to running the football. So that's my, those are my takeaways from this, from this game. I, I think the Eagles are by far the best team in the NFC right now. Midway th through the season, like the first half of the season, like five games in, I was saying that the 49ers and the Eagles were on a collision course to get to the NFC Championship game. I'm not so sure about that anymore. I think the Eagles are by far the best team in the NFC, and the 49ers could possibly meet them in the NFC Championship game, but the 49ers over the last three weeks losing games, I don't think the 49ers are on the Eagles level at the moment. But I think the Eagles are the best team in the NFC, and I think they're the favorites right now to reach the Super Bowl from the NFC. And they've answered all the questions, all the questions so far this season.